So here's our third movement. I forgot I had one of these. Um, it's not an NH-35A. Um, it's a Seiko Monster, so I forgot I even had this. How bad is that? I got so many of these I had to dig through uh, watches to figure out I forgot that I had a Monster. Don't know what the lift angle is, so I just picked 53. But you can see the beat error is pretty good. Uh, 240 degrees, it's running pretty good. Uh, let's see. Now, uh, you know, I think that's running fairly well. I got this about a year and a half ago, three years ago, I forget. But I forgot I had it. So anyway, let's do the same test we did before. This is an orange monster. No display on the back. So I can't tell you what movement this is. I could probably research it. But I'm lazy. It's an automatic and it's got the day and the date crown at four o'clock. Screw down. So let's unwind it. Let's uh, let's come back here and do what we did. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Let's back it up to three o'clock. There's three o'clock and we're gonna change our day. Turn the stem one way, you change the day. Turn the stem the other way, it changes the date. So there you have that. Let's go to 9 o'clock. Looks like it's coming up on midnight there, as you can see it turning backwards. So there's the 9 o'clock. There's our date. There's our day. I don't know if that's Spanish. I'm not familiar, but there's Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, let's see, go backwards. We're going to go backwards again. Is this really a torture test? No, it's just proof that it's not going to affect this movement going forward. Um, we're going to see if we're at midnight. No, that's noon. Come back around. Let's go to midnight. Again, we're not spinning this. There you go. There comes up midnight. So even if we did do that and come up to midnight, is it going to damage anything? There's the date change, and then there's the day change. So we're going to come backwards again, because like I said, moving this backwards will not damage it. So let's set it for 420 something. Sure, 320. Okay. Screw down the crown. These, they're a little, little dicky here. Um, if you notice this little crown guard that can grab your finger it's kind of an annoyance to screw that crown down and the crown isn't super grippy it takes a little bit to nudge it on there and get it on but the bottom line is I got it back on uh, screwed down let's see how it's performing it's back in the hold the, the time grapher holder which is basically a microphone okay it's picking up the ticks Five seconds slow. There's our our amplitude, pretty close to what it was before. The beat error changed a little bit, but that's not drastic. Beat error can change just from moving the watch from different positions on your wrist. Crown up, crown down, dial up, dial down. This is sitting dial up, just like everything else. This is uh, performing pretty well. I'd like to open up, open these up one day and just to see how they're put together. Maybe I'll do that. Not that I think it needs a service, but that's just because it doesn't need a service doesn't mean I won't take it apart and tinker with it. So uh, here's our third movement. It's not the NH35, but it is a Seiko with the day-date complication. And uh, once again, it's working very uh, well.